Good morning, y'all. Shutterbug here. So, yesterday kind of got rained out, drained out, whatever you want to call it. Crappy day. Lost a whole day. Today I was debating moving on to Williams, but I think I'm going to do some more work on the rig here so that I'm ready to move on to Williams tomorrow. And that's where we're at. So today is rethinking, retooling, adjusting a few things that I thought, hey, and now it's like, mm, yeah, move. So first thing we're going to do, clean out the closet. Because as much as I love some of those items, and I hope in the future to be able to wear them again, the nice stuff instead of the, you know, camping crap. Um, but they don't really need to be there. So I'm going to stick them in this bag here and then figure out what to do with that bag later. I might still have to figure out some way to get the roof bag up on this bad boy and throw some crap up there just for now until I can finish weeding through. But that's for later or another day. We shall see. But for now, it's closet time. Sit back, relax, enjoy. Good afternoon. Shutterbug has been a busy girl all morning. Check out this view. I'm going to miss it. I mean, it is pretty up here. But by golly, it's time to pull up stakes and move on in the morning. The winds are ravaging my tent. And I need to turn this thing into a rig, rig, rig. I've made a heck of a lot of progress this morning. Got a lot of my holes filled up. More room for more stuff. They all have their designated things. That's the food pantry. That's next. I got to get the stuff in this cooler here into that container there without smashing my bread. And then I have lots more space to fill up back here. I'm still going to go with the tarp setup, but instead of a pulley system, I'm going to do a hodat. So I'm just going to lift it up and have something to hold that for me while I'm digging around and then I'll release it and put it down myself. No biggie. Who needs pulleys? Uh, I have put up a couple of shelves. They're my party shelves. Woot woot. And you know, well that one's not properly stocked yet. It's still holding my in-process work stuff. I have moved my rods up to the yonders and collapsed my bed together to give me a little more space because you know that inch and a half or so is just needed over here more. But I got my closet way pared down and skinnied up. I got it bungeed kind of as sideways as I can. Even my leathers are behind that and there's still plenty of room in the end to put stuff down there. So yes, I, I am pleased with my progress. I have to sort that crate into some stuff. And because I need a crate for my library, it's getting de destroyed in my bags. I need something solid. So that's going to be the next project. And I've been charging my thingy with my solar. When I'm done, it'll go hanging back up there. And all that's going to be covered with the tarp. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got to figure out a way to utilize the doors when they're open put up a little table or something and I'm thinking about utilizing the roof as well I don't know if I'm going to insulate it with cardboard or magnet up my photos <laughs> I just I don't know but it's space that could be used so things to ponder but right now it's just getting the necessities I'm loading up yet another box to donate. Those guys were happy to get my stuff yesterday and couldn't wait to get their hands on that box with this last load. <laughs> I can't blame them. It's a really cool box. Um, so yeah, that's the skinny. My food seems to have survived the fridge outage. So 
We are doing good at 66% right now. And when the sun shifts around to the other side of the van, I'll prop up the panels and hook it up again and get some more juice going. So yeah, um, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll be back. Hopefully with some action for you. Good evening. It's about six o'clock, a little bit after. Still up here near Kingman, Arizona. Really, really hoping to get over to Williams tomorrow. Unfortunately, all the work for today has been halted. My stupid hands keep trying to cramp up at everything I attempt to try. That's no fun. I ain't putting up with that stuff. It's counterproductive, so I just have to stop. Got two more hours of sun that I gotta waste, which is a pooper. Could have gotten a lot more done. Just hoping to get most of the stuff that's not yet in the rig back in the rig. So in the morning, I just have to throw in my tent and my cot and hopefully no little baby tarantula sneaking us right along. Don't know where he is. <laughs> But I'll be taking that tent down really carefully, you can bet on that one. If the wind doesn't take it down for me first. It has just been beating the crap out of that poor thing today. Be another nice reason to have a proper rig going so when it's windy like that, I don't have to futz with that tent all the time. Checking this line and that line and, okay, what about this over here? And let's see if I can stabilize that over there. And why the hell is it doing this now? And, oh, my gosh, what a pain. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love my tent, but I don't like the wind and what it does to my tent. So there is that. And wind is what Arizona is all about. It's kind of like the, the state thing. Yeah, it's a thing. That and monsoons, which I have yet to experience, but I can look forward to those later this summer, I guess. Yeah, then it'll be really good to have me a rig to hide in. Because that's going to be nasty. So, yeah, very boring evening for me. Sitting around doing barely anything because I don't want to set my hands off again. Because once they get over a certain point, they can last and last and last for like 15 minutes or more. Just solid, nasty cramping. I do not want to go there. Been there, done that. Oh, man, did I hated it. Big, big, big. So, yeah, I guess I'll just toss this little movie together and stick it up on YouTube for y'all. And... Relax, or find some mischief to get into. I've been known to do that a time or two, just a little. And for you, yeah, I'll do it more. Oh, you betcha, oh yeah. So I'm gonna go plot my next moves. And you guys have a fabulous evening. Don't behave, don't even think about behaving. It goes against everything I stand for. So you just go out there, be your truest, most goofy selves, have fun doing it, freak people out if you can, because that's really what life is all about. Y'all take care. I'll catch you tomorrow with some updates. Shutterbug, eat.